Hey guys, it's Daniel here. Um, I was uh, just taking my smoker back out for the year and um, I put this control panel in last year as an upgrade. Um, usually there's a rheostat on the bottom of the smoker itself. So I bypassed that now added a temperature probe into the case of the smoker uh, at the same height that the front temperature gauge is. So um, this will also give you a temperature readout current and they're um, very close so I know I've done that right. So I used hot glue uh, to glue in the control panel and um, the glue came off so that's why I have it all apart here now and uh, I thought I'd uh, just share what I did here this is uh, so the solid state relay um, I got it as a kit it came with uh, the relay the heat sink the um, control panel um, which you can look up and there's the model. It's a berm. If it'll ever focus for me. A B E R M E model R E X dash C one hundred. It's a very common controller. It can be used for um, in a lot of different configurations. It just happens to work very well. Uh, in the Bradley smoker. Also, um, I had a I had a problem with the fuse. I just was take gonna go take it out to just check on it, and um, the fuse broke off inside of that hole. So this is gonna gonna be disabled now. You can see um, the wire coming out the back, the extra wire that is um, for the temperature probe that's in the smoker itself I used a rubber grommet to protect it and uh, just tie it off the wire off on the inside so uh, it can't get pulled through uh, that's the easiest way to do it and um, I used um, a bit of a thicker wire just to um, keep it from breaking so easy and the connector um, Anderson power pole back to the smoker so um, yeah so back to that fuse I was only able to um, find this replacement fuse holder at Canadian Tire it has um, a weatherproof cap but it's not going to work because I'm going to use this. Uh, it's actually a circuit breaker, not a fuse. The original glass fuse was a 10 amp. Uh, this is a 15 amp. And the reason I went with that is because um, we're not running the heating element at a variable voltage anymore. When the controller calls for heat, the smoker is going to be on uh, full power, just like your uh, oven at home is. When the oven calls for heat, it's getting um, full current, full voltage. Um, and that may have been what happened to uh, my glass views. In fact, the center wire, um, it's uh, been heated up. So that tells me there's more current going through it now. And I'm also upgrading the size of wire, so I won't have any problem with the wire warming up inside. Um, I know a lot of people have done this upgrade, um, not quite like I have, and now it's um, it's going a bit deeper, and I want to make this unit uh, very reliable. I can see the relay um, doesn't show any signs that it's heated up at all. You can buy these relays on their own, um, you know, buy them from China, and they'll ship right to Canada usually for free. Um, get one on um, eBay. It's hard to get uh, light inside, but that's what it looks like anyway. Um, 
there's a little red light on there too that will come on. That's uh, more of a high-end uh, feature. But you're not going to see that anyway. It's, it's on the inside. Uh, what's cool about how I have this wired up is uh, the red power indicator on the bottom of the smoker that would come on automatically when you turn up the uh, rheostat. That light will come on when the unit's calling for heat. So um, I know if it's getting power or not. And that light um, gets its power from this relay. So if the relay ever failed, I would know because the light will not uh, come on. So um, yeah, I was just about to solder uh, the the connectors. I crimp them and solder them, so there's no way they'll come apart. Put the fuse in. It's a circuit breaker, and it's going to be uh, living on the inside of the smoker now. I was thinking about just running the wires out the back and having the fuse hang out, but. Uh, yeah, rather than do that, I'm just going to plug this in. And that's what it looks like anyway. It's got to go in a bit more, but it's hard to do it while I'm trying to video. So you have the idea. It's just going to live inside there like that. And uh, one end goes right to the main power in. So it's fused automatically as soon as the power comes in. And uh, it's going to this uh, distribution block. Uh, I'll get this way in the back. I added this uh, unit here so everything's nice and neat. And it's mounted with a screw through the back. So everything nice and tidy inside. Other than that, uh, from the back, you can't see any other uh, upgrades. Like I said, this is for the temperature sensor. Power comes in here from the wall. And power comes out going to your smoker. So um, it's like on an old PC how you'd have the power outlet for a monitor. They've copied that idea. In fact, I think that's the same plug they uh, would use on those old PCs. Um, this side you can just um, see where I mounted the heat sink and the relay above on the side nice and neat um, yeah I guess I tried there and it didn't fit so I had to move it up about an inch or so and uh, there you have it I'll um, show you what the control panel looks like when I'm done uh, soldering all right well I got uh, everything just about finished up here. Um, I uh, crimped and soldered the new terminals. Uh, the heavy orange wire I put in there with the circuit breaker that goes into the distribution block and uh, to the relay from there, really. And here's the other half of it where the motor is for dispensing the pucks. Um, this is the uh, controller unit for uh, the heater because that's what's actually burning your wood too. Um, you know, the pucks will come out like a conveyor belt right to there. And that's the part that actually heats up and burns your wood. You know, and they'll stack up inside there. You can put quite a lot in. Uh, you know, uh, there's the holder for it. So, I mean, you can see how tall the thing is. <clears throat> but anyway. Hopefully this gives uh, a good idea uh, how to wire up the uh, smoker unit for use with the control panel. And uh, I also put uh, the shielding on 
for the temperature sensor. Uh, it's available at uh, electronic parts stores. This stuff works really good. It'll keep the cable from getting nicked. And like I said, I used heavier gauge wire and an Anderson power pole so I can disconnect the uh, wood smoker unit from, uh, from the body of the smoker and store it inside or separately if I want to. Keep it covered up because this is where all the electronics are mostly um, and I keep it inside in the winter time. I've owned this smoker over 10 years and I have to say it works very well and uh, with the upgrades um, it'll work even in the winter time it has no problem keeping up with cold weather and um, um, it will adapt for um, your damper usage you won't lose uh, any heat um, opening or closing the damper uh, you won't have to go and uh, reset your power level f uh, for the heater uh, this thing will do it all for you um, set it and forget it so um, hopefully you can see how I did it all I am um, it's not a step-by-step -step instruction, but it's kind of a finished product already. And uh, I'll attach the two parts, the two halves together, and I'll show you what it looks like. So, just putting the last uh, few screws in here, buttoning this thing up. I almost uh, screwed up big time. I epoxied the, the controller in there, and I forgot last time I did this I had to put the case back together then I put hot glue um, uh, on the controller to hold it in the case um, for some reason I wasn't able to fit it in very well but this time um, the epoxy was done already so uh, I thought I was screwed over, but I managed to get it in there, no problem. So, I mean, that's what it looks like finished now. And it's very critical, I'll tell you this now, um, that you put that unit in exactly where I have it. That is the sweet spot f um, for everything to fit back together. Otherwise, it'll never work. I would have liked to put it a bit lower. Uh, there's just no room there. So there it is. It's back together, and uh, now I'm going to power it up and do the initial test. Hey, so I just powered it up on its own, uh, not being plugged into the smoker. So the heating unit works. Power is on. And um, I'll just show you this quickly, um, how this works. The bottom it says SV, that's set value. That is the temperature. Um, and to set it, you hit set. Now the light is flashing. I can adjust that temperature in uh, Fahrenheit. And here you see it says SU. And uh, hit set again. Now it'll go up to 90 Fahrenheit. This is showing the actual temperature inside. But because there's nothing hooked up to it, it's giving a phantom reading. And uh, another problem is my biscuit advance is not working now. Push the button. And it's not working, so... I think I missed uh, hooking up a wire in there. So I'm going to check this out one more time and hopefully that'll be uh, the end of it. So I just wanted to show one more thing when you're putting this smoker together. That's the back of the control panel. And there's a cross member that runs right there all the way down to the bottom. Um, it's hard to see since it's all black but um, the trick to getting it on is pretty easy. Um, you just bend this forward a bit, 
the front panel and it'll it'll uh, slide right on in and just make sure all your wires are clear um, there are some moving parts in here uh, on the biscuit advanced motor underneath there so keep that in mind hey there so I have the um, Bradley smoker set up, powered up, and now you can see the temperature reading is correct. The red, 23 degrees, that's how hot it is in there. And that stud you see right there, the silver, that's the one I installed in the back of the smoker. That um, sensor there is a uh, over temperature shutdown. <clears throat> so I'll put this back in here. And the racks. And uh, temperature 